I'm Tony Quinones, and right now in your 13 Action News update, Metro Police say that two of their officers right now are recovering after being shot today right near Nellis and Vegas Valley. Well, police say that they were called to the Boulevard apartment complex in East Las Vegas to issue a search warrant on a follow up homicide investigation from November of last year. But when they arrived there on the scene, police say that officers and the gunman exchanged fire. Uh, the two officers were taken to a local hospital. They are expected to recover. Police say the gunman died at the scene. Uh, that shooting remains under investigation. Well, visitations of prisoners now have been suspended statewide because of the rise in COVID cases. The Department of Corrections says the decision was made to protect the health of inmates and staff. Some 76% of staff is vaccinated. About 67% of those in person are vaccinated against COVID-19. And defensive end Max Crosby was one of the heroes last night. He dominated the second half for the Raiders and ended with six tackles and some two sacks. But today, he was also voted by teammates to receive the Commitment to Excellence Award. The award is given annually to the Raider, who best exemplifies hard work and leadership and excellence on and off the field throughout the season. Congratulations, Max. Danny. A sunny and seasonal start to the week. Temperatures today landing in the upper 50s, right around where we should be this time of year. But right around sunset, we saw those clouds push in and they'll linger for most of the overnight hours. That being said, cloud cover should clear right before sunrise Tuesday. So sunshine right from the get go. Cold start to the morning in the upper 30s, but highs are in the 60s for the rest of the week. We'll see sunny skies Tuesday and Wednesday with a little more cloud cover arriving by Thursday. Danny, thank you. That was your 13 Action News update. Remember, you can always get the latest news at KTNV.com.